Hi, welcome to another edition of the Pastor's Pantry. I'm your host, Sam Peters. I've got a question for you. Does your chicken need saved? We have got a dish today that's going to bring revival to that boring chicken dinner that you've been making for so long. We're taking you this Sunday to the first church of chicken where I'm going to be preaching on the piety of poultry. So come along with us. Let's get cooking. Today we're going to be preparing for you ginger church chicken with a chopped cherry chutney and a Chinese chimichurri sauce. Okay, we got to get our grill ready now. What I've done is I put a drip pan with about a half inch of water inside the grill. That's going to keep a lot of moisture in on the chicken. It's also going to be able to catch all the drips. So we've got that in place. Now we just got to turn all the burners. We're going to turn them on high. We're going to bring it up to about 400, 450 degrees. And then we're going to, after a half an hour of cooking, we're going to turn that down to about 350. Okay, for some of you that maybe don't feel comfortable working with fresh ginger root, it's very simple. There's a small little paper skin on there. We're going to take a teaspoon. We're just going to scrape that paper off there, just like that. It comes off very simple. Now it's ready to go ahead and grate or mince or chop or however you want to do it. And we're going to grate this entire finger of ginger root up. Okay, to make our ingredients for the inside of our chicken, we're going to do about two tablespoons of that ginger that we just grated. We're gonna do one garlic clove. I'm just gonna lightly mash that to get the paper off. We're gonna leave it whole. We're trying to get the flavor and the aromatic out of that. Two sprigs of our Chinese parsley, about a half a teaspoon of our chai tea. And I'm just kind of just mixing this up there a little bit just so all the flavors kind of get mixed together. We're just gonna take this with our hand and put it inside the chicken. Okay, what we've done is we have baptized our chicken. Now here's what I mean by that. We have rinsed it cleaned all any kind of extra feathers, any kind of things that came from your butcher. So we're just gonna push all that, just push it in there. We're just trying to get the flavor and the aromatics into the, into the meat. Now I'm taking a, just a piece of aluminum foil and we're wadding that up and I'm putting that in the cavity because we're gonna be putting this bird on the spit. We don't want any of those ingredients to fall out. So we're just putting that in there. We're gonna truss the bird and it's gonna hold it all together. So let's get trussing that. All we do is we go ahead and take about a, about a three and a half piece of butcher's toy and I just wrap it around the legs this way, twist one time, up and across, underneath the wings and back over the top. And we just tie that on top and that holds that bird all nice and together while it's on the spit. For our base, we're gonna put about all oh, three tablespoons of the chorizo oil, just a dash of our soy sauce, about one teaspoon of our ginger, half a teaspoon of our chipotle powder. And I'm just putting maybe an eighth of a teaspoon of our chai tea in there. And that's going to be a base that we're going to be using oh, every 15 minutes or so while it's on the spit. We're going to be basting our chicken with that. And then we want to make a rub for it as well. We're going to go ahead and take about a teaspoon of our chipotle powder and about a half a teaspoon of our chai tea. That's going to give again that great uh, cinnamon and all spice flavor to that. Okay, there we go. We're ready to go. Let's go out to the grill. Okay, we've got our grill up to temperature. It's somewhere between 400, 450 degrees. Now we've got to go ahead and get the bird on the spit. So I'm just going to take this one set of prongs off. We're going to slide our bird in there through the cavity. We've got to move our foil out of the way, get that through there. We'll put that back in, push that back on the prongs, then put the other prong in, just like that. Okay, now we're ready to put it on the grill. We're going to apply a little of our rub doesn't need a lot. We're just trying to add a little bit of flavor. And then we just want to hit it with some of our base that we made earlier. And we're going to do this about every 15 minutes or so. It's going to have a great, great flavor profile. Okay, our chicken's been on for about 15 minutes. It's time to put our first basting on. Oh, look at that color. All right, we're going to give it about another 15 minutes. We're going to baste it one more time. We're going to turn our heat down. Okay, now we're going to make our side dish, a chopped cherry chutney. We're going to need about three quarter cup of cherry preserves. We're using about two cups of chopped cherries. We've got about a teaspoon of that ginger we're bringing back into play. Two tablespoons of Chianti vinegar, which is fantastic. We've got just a little bit of our chorizo oil and a little bit of that chai tea and a little bit of the chipotle pepper that's going to go in there. All that's going to blend together, make a fantastic chutney that we're going to serve on the side of our wonderful ginger church chicken today. You can put it in the refrigerator and let it chill. You could even make this a day ahead if you wanted to. <laughs> Nothing says spring like barbecue. <laughs> 
Okay, it's been about 30 minutes now. We're gonna baste one more time and turn the temperature down on our grill. This chicken is getting so tender already. The color, the aroma, fantastic. We're gonna put the lid back down on this, let it go for a little while longer. Okay, our chicken is ready. Oh, look at how juicy that is. That is fantastic. It is good to take off the spit. We're gonna get it off of here. We're gonna take it inside. We're gonna cut it up and prepare the plate. Okay, it's time for us to make our Chinese chimichurri sauce. For that, we're gonna need about a cup of Chinese parsley. We're gonna need about two tablespoons of our Chianti vinegar. We're using a third cup of our chorizo oil, about a tablespoon of our dried chipotle flakes, about a half a teaspoon of our chai tea, three garlic cloves. We're gonna blend all that up in the blender, get it out on the table. All right, that's all blended up. Now it's time to get this out of here. It's time to plate our dish. We've got a really nice chicken breast. We've cut several slices of that out there. We're gonna cover that with our Chinese chimichurri sauce. Oh man, this just looks so great. What a great flavor combination. And then for our side, we have our chopped cherry chutney. Oh, just it's all cranberry or jellied up there. It's so nice. And then we just need a sprig of our Chinese parsley. And then in honor of spring, just a little cherry blossom. And a perfect way to top this dish off is a nice hot cup of chai tea. There you have it, our church chicken. Go out and share the gospel of good taste with somebody you love today and be a blessing to them. Get your sauce on, enjoy.